Perfect Hair Tape Extensions are comfortable to wear with a flat heat resistant bond that blends perfectly with your hair giving you no discomfort when they are applied. They're designed to be relifted every six to eight weeks for a damage free application. You should always start with your consultation to gather as much information from your client as possible. You ask questions like, have you had extensions before? What look do you wish to achieve? Thickness, length or both? Ask about their lifestyle, such as, do you tie your hair a lot? If so, you should know to allow extra space around the hairline. Once you have gathered all the information needed, it is now time to grab your colour swatch so that you can decide what colour to use. Make sure that when you are colour matching, that you always match the colour of the ends of your client's hair. You will need the following tools to perform your application. Flat plated pliers, two metal tail cones, four butterfly clips, one slide clip. Step one. Ensure that your client's hair has been freshly washed. Make sure that conditioner wasn't applied directly to the roots. It is important to make sure that your client's ends are not blunt. If they are, we highly recommend you soften them. Step two. Part hair in four sections, straight down the middle, then from ear to ear. Starting at the nape, take an inch and a half section. Taking a large section will ensure that extensions will not show if they tie their hair up. Step three. Grab your first perfect hair tape extension and before peeling the adhesive, use the piece as a guide to determine how many pieces are needed for your first section. Peel the cover from the adhesive and position your towel comb on the bottom part of the adhesive as seen in the video. Step four. Using your second metal comb, part the very top of your first section. This should be very fine as seen in the video. Your section should be one centimetre shorter than the width of your tape extension. Grab the towel comb you prepared early, position your comb and tape extension underneath and in the middle of your section of hair, then gently roll out your comb. Step five, grab another tape extension, peel the cover from the adhesive, Position your second tape extension directly on the tape of your previous piece and using your fingers smooth over your tape extension piece. Step 7. Use a pair of pliers to press down along the bond of your now formed tape extension sandwich. If your pliers are too short, press on each side of the sandwich. Note, you must allow half a centimetre from the scalp so that the tape extensions do not pull. As seen on the video, you should be able to move the piece up and down and your client shouldn't experience any discomfort while you do this. Always remember you only get one chance to get the position right. Always use a towel comb to have complete control over your application. Step 8. You can place your second piece beside your first piece for the first two to three sections, but after that you should be using a brick effect to ensure your extensions blend. Note, your last piece in the back shouldn't be placed higher than the crown. Use your judgement on the size of the section to meet your client's expectations. You should have no hair on the very edges of your pieces. This is so the adhesive sticks onto each other to create the perfect sandwich effect and to ensure your tape extensions have been attached firmly. Repeat steps 3 to 8 to complete the back. Let the hair down and brush the hair to determine if enough hair has been used. Step 9. When you get to the ears, you need to allow an inch of hair from the client's ear. Repeat steps 3 to 7 to apply tape extension pieces along this parting, allowing at least one inch or more if the client's hair is fine from the hairline. Repeat steps 3 to 7 to complete your sides. Note, you can cut your tape extensions in half for a more natural look. Remember to cut the pieces using an old pair of sharp cutting scissors. Remember, throughout your application, your section should always be clean straight lines. Tips, flat pliers should always be used. If your client has oily hair and claim extensions don't normally last, a temperature flat iron can be used over the top of your sandwich. The flat iron should be no higher than 150 degrees. Should also be applied in a fast tapping action as seen in the video. 
We don't recommend this on all hair types, but Perfect Hair Tape Extension have a medical grade adhesive, so the use of a temperature controlled flat iron is a good way to ensure your tape extensions will last on oily hair. When cutting your client's hair after your application is complete, you should never cut blunt straight lines. Razors and thinning scissors can be used when cutting the length. Removing tape extensions. Step one, buy a bottle of acetone free nail polish remover. Pour contents into a spray bottle. Grab your extension sandwich, spray a generous amount of acetone free nail polish remover onto the bond of your tape extension. Allow for it to absorb, then peel off. Once your first piece has been removed, your second piece will just slide out. Step two, using a dry towel, firmly rub the top of the tape extension to remove the old adhesive. Ensure your tape extensions are kept in the same order from your original application. Step four, grab a sheet of new adhesives Gently peel off the covering and place your tape extension piece on the exposed adhesive using your fingers, press down gently, then peel off. Repeat steps until your tape extensions have a new adhesive applied. Note, tape extensions last between six to eight weeks before they need to be relifted. Although they are heat resistant, if direct heat has been applied to the bond, they may take slightly longer to remove. Hair should be washed and blow dried before reapplying the tape extension for best results.